Hey, David Weck here. I'm at S10 Fitness in San Diego. Check out all the cool training implements they have here. They do a lot of strongman stuff. Check out the mill wheels. I think each one of those weighs like 100 plus pounds. Fantastic place. Chris, Dave, and Kate, fantastic people. Check them out if you're in San Diego. So today I want to teach you an exercise called the Samurai Squat. The purpose of this exercise is to develop better core stability, hip and shoulder mobility, stable spine, flexible and mobile appendages through the hips and the shoulders. It's going to one, improve your squatting mechanics and two, help you run faster. The more stable my core is and the more mobility and, and power I can generate through the joints of the hips and the shoulders, the faster I will be able to run. Now, the key to this exercise is the breathing. Breathing is everything. That's the basis for it all. And when we naturally reach up, our body will naturally inhale. That expands the rib cage and it extends the thoracic spine. And now it's just mechanically easier for me to lift, raise up and grab something on the top shelf. What we're going to do is we're going to go the opposite direction and we're gonna actually be exhaling with pressure as we raise the hands up. So it's an unnatural act in terms of great economy but, and this right here, when I breathe in, a very low threshold strategy, it doesn't cost me much. When I go the opposite and I create tension, it's a higher threshold strategy, and that's what's gonna pay this dividend for high performance, squatting and running. So, here's how it works. I'm gonna use the RMT club, and the leverage point in this is really the key, because the way this is balanced, the weight is in the club head, and it's not in the handle. So, this version's only four pounds, but, that's an extremely heavy four pounds when I'm right here. It's the heaviest four pounds on the planet, as we jokingly say. But that lever, when I go overhead, is gonna give me a mechanical advantage and be easier for me to conjugate better movement mechanics through the shoulders while maintaining core stability. So the breathing mechanics on this are, we're going to inhale and inflate. When we're here, now we're going to exhale with compression, so it looks right there you can see I've limited or reduced any thoracic extension as opposed to when I breathe in it's see how there's a definitive extension happening when I breathe in so here's what it looks like the samurai squat I'm going to bring it down with the inflate so I inhale to bring it down the club head gives me that counterbalance that lets me keep the back perfect now, from here, with the full air, I'm gonna exhale with compression. So it's here, and I... And now I come up. The overhead squat is one of the best ways to measure how stable your core is and how mobile your hips and your shoulders are. So it's like a, a complete exercise, and it just tells the truth. You can either do it well or you can't, and you wanna be able to do it well if you wanna squat and run your best. So. Doing that exercise gives me those squat mechanics. It's like a goblet squat, but a goblet squat, you wanna use heavier load because the weight's in here. And this is why people love the goblet squat, is because the goblet squat helps your hip flexors. And people living in a modern culture generally have poor hip flexors because you've spent your whole day sitting, which means that you've sort of frozen in that position. You can neither fully extend nor flex at the hip joint when you sit all day. This exercise fixes that problem. So, inhale down, boom. So I'm getting that similar mechanics as a goblet squat, but the overhead action is much easier than if the weight is here because I've got the lever. So here, now compression. I wanna make it really, really tight. Everything's packed in. I wanna keep this perfect and the thoracic, so. And up. Doesn't take many of those, and you're gonna create this muscle memory effect of total body core stability, and what I call a torpedo body. It's just one cylinder that has tremendous strength and power. So that right there, boom, I'm gonna just use that. I use this exercise to prime my body to squat, to deadlift, and to go heavier and have better mechanics. And I use the exercise as sort of a daily practice to just constantly make my squat better.
because I live in a modern culture and for most of my life I wasn't squatting deep, I was sitting in chairs, I have work to do and I'll always have work to do. And the lower you can make the squat with that perfect positioning through the spine, the, more, the, the less pain you'll experience, the better health you'll have and the better athlete you will be. So check out that exercise. Go to WECMethod.com to learn more. Follow us at WECMethod. If you're ever in San Diego, check me out, check out S10, and I will see you guys soon in Balance and Strength.